Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into a special broadcast here tonight from Desert Hills High School, bringing you this volleyball matchup. The last game of the season between the Cedar Reds and the Desert Hills Thunder. And right now it's senior night. The Lady Thunder getting recognized. Of course, they're seniors here tonight on this lovely senior night. Welcome to the broadcast tonight. It is Caden Foremaster with you. And I have alongside me Brent Rao on the broadcast. And Brent... How, are you happy to put on the headset? You excited you know to be what? here? I am excited to be here. You know, it's interesting. You can go around and you can go to a football game. People get really excited about that. I would contend that volleyball can be even more exciting than a football. And I know a lot of people aren't going to believe me on that. But if you come out and watch, you, you'll see. And especially a game like this tonight where we've got two teams fighting for the region championship. It's going to be a good game. It is going to be a good game. I'm super excited for this one. This is the first volleyball game I've been able to see in person this season. It's been a while since I've been able to get to one. And, uh, of course, we, we, uh, I've seen the highlights. I've seen, I've seen all the excitement that comes with it. It's nice to be able to be here and experience the game in full. Now, you're no stranger to volleyball. You're around this all the time. You've seen this region. You've been around Region 9 volleyball a lot. And uh, with this being the, the final wrap-up to the season, you've seen both of these teams play. And uh, both of these teams bring a lot to the table. Both, uh, both have been extremely competitive to the point where this game decides the region title. Yeah, it really does. It's, it's exciting it's, you know, to come out to a game like this. And for them to be able to figure out that these two teams would need to play each other on the last game of the season, Pretty dang awesome. Yeah. But you know, we you mentioned we got two teams here that are packed with players. It's true. I mean, we've got team players on these teams that may go play the next level. Um, it comes down to this last game. They're both ten and one right now coming into this last game. Uh, you know, it was looking like Desert Hills might run away with the region. They came in last second and they were able to. Uh, you know, Hurricane beat them, which set up this this game for a perfect last game of the season for us. So, and exactly right about that, saying that it is the perfect last game of the season because it really is the perfect last game of the season coming down to this. It all comes down to this one game, and uh, there's we got Devin Dixon over here on the camera showing us, hey everybody at home watching tonight here on the senior night. Uh, you can see a little behind the scenes this setup over here as we get ready for the uh, the start to this match. It's going to be a fun one. Well, let's get into a little bit more in depth here. Let's go to some of our keys to the game brought to you by Team D Auto Sales. So, Brent, with these keys to the game here, let's start with Cedar. All right, so our keys to the game here, first is going to be serving pressure. And, and what that means is Desert Hills is really good in the middle. And so the serving pressure is going to be getting the ball out of system for them so that they have to go to their outsides and pin hitters. Now, their outsides are good, too, but their studs are really in the middle with Lauren Larkin and Hallie Heath. So if Cedar can keep the serving pressure, get them off of that out of system, they're going to be really good. Next, you know, they really, we need to, they're going to want to work the middle to open up the outside on, on offense. So they have a really big hitter in Emery Harrison. They want to go to her. They work the middle a little bit to open up the outside. And then last, as I mentioned before, they really got to do a good job of keeping Cedar out or Desert Hills out of system, uh, serving, but also just during the game, keep the, the ball away from the middles for Desert Hills. On the other side, we've got Desert Hills. So passing is going to be crucial for them. Where they do run the middle a lot, they have their big hitters there in the middle, they're going to need to pass the ball really well. Second, they, they got to work the outside to open up the middle. A little bit different than what we just saw we're talking about Cedar. They want to work that outside to make sure that that middle is open. And then they want to do what they can to keep the ball away from Emery Harrison because she she is you know one of their, their big hitters, one of their go-to players. So try and keep the ball away from her. And there are your keys to the game brought to you by Team D Auto Sales. And you know, one of the one of the girls that you mentioned here in tonight's game is um, is Emery Harrison, who has been quite phenomenal. Looking at her stats, she kind of just leads stats all over the board here for Cedar. 4.4 um, kills per set is what she's averaging right yep. now, which is pretty high. Really high, yeah. She's got 272 kills on the year, um, which is leading their team by far. It's actually one of the, it's the second highest in the region behind uh, Lauren Lorcan on Desert Hill. So she's the right. second highest in the entire region. She is their go-to on their team. Yeah, and then you mentioned Lauren Larkin, who came over from Dixie. She moved over into Desert Hills territory and has really brought a lot to this team and to this system. 
Uh, it helps when you're six foot two for sure. It really does. <laughs> She's yes. pretty tall out there. She's a, a force up front, and uh, it, that's what makes this really exciting. Is you have some good height on both teams and good talent all around. Well, as we say, you can't teach height. That's right. So it's nice to be tall, but. <laughs> That's you right. know, along with that, they're very talented as well. So, and and uh, Lauren Lorkin does have 297 kills on the year so far. So she's about to get to that 300 mark. Uh, she'll do that this game, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, but what makes that even better is the Desert Hills team, as a total, they have a lot of kills from a bunch of different players. So, they are well rounded, but they will go to her often if they get a good pass. Which we like to see. We like to see uh, um, a little bit of sharing the ball, sharing the love here. So as we get closer to getting this thing started, I want to thank you for joining us here. And I want to thank Boulevard Home, our main sponsor for our sports here in Region 9 Athletics. Of course, visit Boulevard Home uh, just next to Red Cliffs Mall over there. And with locations now all across not only southern Utah, but, hey, they've moved into Las Vegas as well. They're all over the place. They're getting big time over there they at Boulevard really Home. Yep. I think they're so being a great sponsor. They, it's awesome to see them come out and, and support Region 9. You know what will be really interesting tonight is with this being senior night, it's, it'll be interesting to see exactly what Coach Allred does with his team. A lot of times on senior night, they'll go with a different lineup to get their all their seniors in and playing. Um, they may stick with their main lineup because this is such an important game to try and win the region. And also, you know, to keep your, your, your standings high for state. So it'll be interesting to see that. Also, I mean, this may be one of the great places in the region to play. And part of the reason why is because Mark Musgrave, who obviously you know well as he's your co-host on your show. Right. But he really gets this place rocking as the PA announcer. So it'll be interesting to see if that brings a home court advantage for them, which normally it does. But also, if Cedar travels really well, they might be able to bring a lot of people here and, and kind of help balance that out a little bit so that it's not so one-sided with Desert Hills just rocking the house. But if Cedar was able to travel and bring some fans, it may be rocking both ways. But you know that Mark's going to make sure that those those fans are, are cheering for Desert Hills. So. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. He definitely brings a little extra electricity into the Thunderdome here for sure. And uh, we are ex are super excited to see that electricity tonight. And it is. It's going to get loud in here. I can already guarantee it. The student section right below us is starting to fill up. We got parents on the other side. This is, of course, a highly anticipated game, and it will again decide the region. As we get closer to starting off here, we have starting lineups for both of the teams. Starting with your visiting Cedar Reds, we have number 18, Bird Allen, number 22, Emery Harrison, number 36, Ansley Coates, number seven, Annalise Shimada, number 35, Liko Falau. 20, Katie Larson, and number eight, Naya Barnes. Those are your starters for the Cedar Reds. And over on the Desert Hills side, starting number 16, Tatum Gardner, number 17, Taylor Graff, number four, Lauren Larkin, number six, Trinity Pilamai, number 10, Brooklyn Robinson, number 11, Hallie Heath, and number one, Jayla Fowler. Your starting lineups, and I'm sure starting lineups coming here shortly as we get you that much closer to getting underway here. Let's step aside for just a bit. When we come back, it's game time from the Thunderdome and Desert Hills High School right here on the Fan Sports Network. Adams Wealth Advisory is a financial planning firm. It's combined with an investment firm to provide the best possible outcomes for our clients. I always believe if you're intentional with your financial plan, things are going to work out really well for you. Visit AdamsWealthAdvisors.com or call 752-1702 to schedule a time with an advisor today. Hearst Ace Hardware is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. Hearst General Store, the big Ace store on Bluff and on Main in Cedar City. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home, because home is who we are. House of Jump is Southern Utah's only indoor trampoline park and your only place to jump, dunk, and dodge. Head on over to our house, 
the House of Jump. You could wander around a warehouse store forever and never find the one thing that can make all the difference. A helpful face? Now that's something to consider. Everything your local Bucks Ace stands for is written on our faces. Welcoming, neighborly, knowledgeable. When you're in need of a helpful face, visit one of our three Southern Utah locations. Back at it here at Desert Hills High School. Thunder and Reds about to get started here in this Region 9 matchup. Caden Foremaster here and Brent Rao. Brent, let's get into a little bit. We talked about the front lines. Let's talk about those setters. Yeah, you know, this is a, a big matchup between two really talented setters. It's going to be awesome to watch. So you got Bird Allen on the Cedar side, and you have Tatum Gardner on the Desert Hill side. Both of them are fantastic setters. They set their team all the way around. They're going to be keys to the game. Now, the one thing that Bird does, you'll have to watch for this, but she tends to dump often. So she has quite a few kills this season because she does a really good job of dumping. Um, I, uh, I don't think Tatum does that as much, which is okay. But both of these setters are super talented. They get the ball, they put it right where it needs to be for their hitters, which is why their hitters have so many kills so far. So it'll be awesome to watch this battle between the two setters tonight. Now with that in mind, the two setters, of course, going at it, like you mentioned, Bird Allen. One thing about her that I love, she's the one rocking the yellow shoes over yes, she there. Is. She's easy to spot, right? She's silent for sure. And uh, we're excited to see what, what she brings here with, the, with a little bit of flair in the shoe game for sure. Um, and then, uh, as you mentioned, Desert Hills uh, yeah, and, also you know, bringing it as well. Tatum's rocking the pants today. So, yeah, you know, she is. Yeah, easy to spot her too out there. So, it, it, you know, obviously these setters are talented. They've been doing this a long time. Uh, they're, they're a big part of the game because they have to put the ball right where their hitters need it. So, obviously, they spend a lot of time with the hitters to know where they want the ball. But if the hitters are getting some kills, you got to know that the setters are doing the right thing. Absolutely. Getting that much closer to game time here on the Fan Sports Network. We appreciate you joining us on the broadcast. And it's, again, the last game of region play here as we get ready for the playoffs when we come back from the break for the National Anthem. Let's get into region standing. Let's get into state. We're going to talk about where these teams currently are at, where these teams stand, where they rank, and how they've done so far this season as we are uh, just getting that much closer to game time here on the Fan Sports Network. And for those wondering, yes, a little bit of a later start to this one, 7.09 already, but we did have senior night to kind of bring yep. in a little bit of time there, which is interesting, by the way, because JV actually was only three sets. So, yeah, it so went that, that quick, ended pretty quick. And they had to actually wait to get going. Yeah, and yep. they still, we still have to wait to get going, but it's all good. We're going to uh, be... Be bringing you this game here shortly in just a little bit as the teams finish warming up here. And again, uh, let's as we get closer to starting, we're going to head to a break. And when we return, talk more about where Region 9 has been over the journey of this season. So that's coming up next here on the Fan Sports Network. You could wander around a warehouse store forever and never find the one thing that can make all the difference. A helpful face? Now that's something to consider. Everything your local Bucks Ace stands for is written on our faces. Welcoming, neighborly, knowledgeable. When you're in need of a helpful face, visit one of our three Southern Utah locations. Asphalt. It's not something we think about much, except when it's in bad shape. At Holbrook Asphalt, we help cities, HOAs, and businesses avoid replacing painfully expensive roads and parking lots. To avoid the cost of replacing asphalt, you must effectively preserve it while it's still in good condition. University research has shown Holbrook Asphalt's HA5 slows asphalt aging by 67%. We make your pavement assets last longer, cost less to own, all while achieving higher property values. Visit HolbrookAsphalt.com to discover more. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods Cross. Inspired design. Ultra quiet operation. To you, it's a bright evolution cooling system. To us, it's the ultimate machine. All set. For the dealer nearest you, visit Bryant.com. 
Hey, it's Caden Foremaster. And Mark Musgrave, the voice you know with the Fan Sports Network. Check out our local sports radio show, From the Bleachers, live every weekday from 4 to 6 p.m. Listen to us on the radio on 99.5 or 95.3 FM. You can also listen through the Fan Sports Network app or watch the show live on the Fan Sports Network YouTube page. The Fan Sports Network is your home of Utah Tech Trailblazers, high school sports, and the pros. The Fan Sports Network, Southern Utah's home for local sports. Fabulous Freddy's is the local's choice for a full-service car wash. It's fast. Have your car washed in just 20 minutes or less. Fabulous Freddy's always keeps it clean inside and out with two Southern Utah locations as well as in Vegas, Lehigh, and Sandy. We are Utah's financial outfitter, and we're here when it's time for your business to climb higher. Guest Rally Bank. Mountains away. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey, it's Sheldon Demke. Check out the latest episode of What's on the Menu, a behind-the-scenes tour of local restaurants. We'll see some of their favorite dishes and get an inside look on how these dishes are prepared. Check out this week's episode at stgeorgenews.com and click the Shows on the Menu tab. Red Rock Real Estate has over 200 professional realtors in the St. George area that specialize in the local market. Whether you're buying your dream home, looking for an investment property, or want to sell your home for the highest amount, the Red Rock Real Estate team is here to assist you. Get started now by visiting redrockrealestate.com. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the... Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. We love giving back to our community, and over the years, we have provided vehicles for families in need, supported local charities, and helped train our first responders. Dealer Collision, your place for collision repair. I've got 15 seconds to list all the reasons that you should call Jason Baum at Bay Equity Home Loans, first time home buyer specialist, down payment assistant loans, investment loans other guys haven't even heard of, reverse mortgages, and so many more to name before I run out of time. Nets on Fire is the place to hoop in Southern Utah. Elevate your game with group or individual training with elite coaching. Hustle to NetsOnFire.org to learn more and see why so many rising stars hoop at Nets. Nets on Fire, building champions on and off the court. The Fan Sports Network is your home for local sports. Catch the drive with Devin Dixon from 7 to 9. And from the bleachers with Caden Foremaster and Mark Musgrave from 4 to 6. Plus, Utah Tech and high school sports live on the radio and streaming on thefansportsnetwork.com. National Anthem is in the book. Starting lineups coming up on the floor. But before we get to the starting lineups, uh, Devin Dixon was able to head down to court level and chat with Coach Allred for a little bit. Hopefully this works. We just barely yeah, were trying to get this see. set up, so we'll see what happens here. Coach Allred. To decide the region title, how the kids' mentality going into tonight? I think they're pretty excited. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a heck of a match, and uh, I'm sure Cedar's ready to go, and I know our kids are ready to go too. How big is it being at home tonight? It's it's a fun night with it being senior night and and being at home. The the environment I think is gonna be pretty crazy, and uh, I think I think it's gonna be a great night. Give me a couple keys to win the region title outright tonight. Well, I think our biggest key is just playing well um, as a team and being being aggressive. We gotta be we gotta be aggressive and and uh, put our foot on the gas and go. All right, good luck. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Big game with Coach Allred. Coach. There you go, Coach Allred, giving us a little bit of insight into what he's thinking ahead of game time here tonight. All right, so we've got two teams here that are playing for the region championship. This is really awesome. I love that it comes down to the last game of the season. And here they are, these two teams, top of the region. They're both 10-1 and one right now. They're both coming in, winner-take-all kind of game, and it's going to be awesome. Both of these teams are going to be amped up. They're going to be playing hard, and it's going to be that game that you wanted to see at the very end of the season. And the fact that it, the winner takes all is just awesome. Absolutely. Well, let's experience the starting lineups a little bit here. The the festivities, the, the celebration, you know, they do it all. They have a... Video playing down there on the floor. They have the lights. It's a whole show over here at Desert Hills High School. Yeah. And you know what's cool is the, both of these teams, uh, so I've been in the gym for both of them. They both do really cool things uh, for their starting lineup. So it's awesome to see them. I mean, come up with video. And, and the, I saw the same thing for Cedar. They did the same thing uh, yeah. when, I, when we were up there just the other day. So really, really cool. And they got the Thor's hammer out there. 
on the video. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yep. Got to love it for sure. As uh, starting lineups for Desert Hills coming across in just a little bit. But uh, you know, the other thing that we need to talk about though is yeah. th also they do both of these teams want to win. Obviously, region's sure. a big thing, but when it really comes down to it, the state championship is what these teams are looking for. Right now, currently these teams sit a little lower in the in the RPI. They've got Orem, they've got Green Canyon, and they've got Skyview all ahead of them. Now, I've seen all those teams play. They're awesome. They've got some awesome players on those teams. I would contend, though, that both of these teams could play and beat those teams. The, all, all five teams that I've just mentioned there, they're all really good teams. I could see the state championship coming from one of those five teams. So they're, they're also fighting for that spot in the RPI to make sure that they stay up high enough to where they're not going to have to play one of those teams too too soon in the state championship and that's a big part of the rpi system and a part of uh just the playoff system in general is making sure that you find and you sneak into that spot that gives you the best chance to continue to move on you don't want to get taken out too early you want to continue to to fight through and and hopefully play teams that are ranked lower than you and if you have to play teams that are ranked um, higher than you. Hopefully they're not ranked too much higher than you. But not a lot of control you have over that. It's no. when you lose and you just have to fall into the system I mean, wherever you may. I think the, the truth is is eventually you're going to have to play a really good team. You'd right. like to see them later on in the state championship, but eventually you're going to have to play them if, you know, if you're going to beat them. So, but, so th it'll be interesting to see where these guys end up in the RPI also, which comes out, I believe, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll see the RPI, the final standings, and where they're going to be. Now, both of these teams will get a bye the first round, so they won't be playing Saturday with, like some of the other teams in the region or in, in the state. Um, so they'll have a bye. They'll actually go directly to the state championship. They'll be one of the 16 teams that are, they'll be playing up at, at UVU uh, next week for the state championship. So, uh, but it really does depend on this game could shift the RPI a little bit. Uh, because, you know, one team wins, the other one might drop a little bit. So it'll be inter interesting to see. And both of these teams, as you mentioned, they're, they're both really good teams. So we're in for a treat tonight as uh, we're getting that much closer. Just wrapping up this starting lineups here in just a moment. But if we look back to the last time that these two teams were able to match up, it went a full five sets, Brent. And it did. It went in favor of Desert Hills in that one, uh, yeah. three to two. The so. interesting thing is that Cedar actually won the first two sets. Right. They came out and beat Desert Hills the first two sets. It looked like they were gonna go and take the victory. Desert Hills decided that they wanted to actually come and play. They came out and in fact, in the fourth set, they won 25 to nine. I mean, they just really put the hammer down in that set. The fifth set went down to 15, 13. It was just a really, really tight set. Super exciting. I wasn't able to be there to that game, but I heard it was just really exciting. I would love to see another game like that tonight because that's what this game is really all about. Coming that's down right. to the last set, fighting back and forth, getting the victory by two points. I would love it if that's how it ended up tonight. That would be awesome. We love a good five-set game, right? That's we exactly do. what we're looking for is a good five-set game, um, good comeback victories. That kind of stuff is a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully that's what's in the cards for us here tonight in this one as we're uh, just about wrapping up, I think they've announced all of the starting lineup, but as they finish up with their video presentation and more, it's a late start, 7:20. We're yeah. yet, we're yet to get underway. They have we're, a lot to, a lot of, uh, a lot of fun stuff they had to get through first. It's like I said, I mean, senior nights are always really interesting because you've got some emotion going on. You know, it's a lot of the kids. They have quite a few seniors on Desert Hill, so it's like, how do they come out? Are they emotional? Do they? Do they come out flat or do they come out like amped up, ready to go? I've seen it both ways throughout the years. I really hope for Desert Hill's sake that they come out ready to play. I feel like they've done things long enough ago now. They're taking enough time that hopefully they're, you know, those emotions have kind of set in and they're ready to go. On the other hand, Cedar is just having to sit here and wait and wait and wait as Desert Hills does all this. So do they kind of get flat a little bit because of that? You know, it's really interesting to see on, on a senior night. but. My hope is, is that they both come out ready to play so we can see a really good game. Absolutely. And they are getting things torn down. We're getting ready to get started here. And uh, not exactly sure who won a coin toss. I don't know if we've seen that yet. But no. 
Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye there and see which team is going to start off for us here tonight. Yeah, I tried to get that information, but wasn't able to, to get it. So I, it's always a uh, trying to figure out who it is that had won the coin toss. And then even at that, like, do they just do they choose to serve or receive? I mean, they, yeah. they get the choice. So who knows? But yeah, well, we'll find out soon that's enough right. here in about a minute, I'm sure. So uh, again, welcome in here for this broadcast, special broadcast here on the Fan Sports Network. So, so this Kate, is a big week. I got to ask you, yeah. I mean, is this your first time broadcasting a volleyball game? I think it is. Okay. I think it is. I've watched a lot of volleyball. And here's the thing. I broadcast a lot of sports back when I, I was in high yep, school. Yep, yep. And I was on the microphone for a lot of those. I did a lot of basketball. I did a lot of football. I probably ran some cameras for volleyball. That's probably about the extent okay. of, of broadcasts for it. But you know what? You know me. I'm a sports lover. I, so. I do. And, and I, you know what? I'm excited that you're here. You're able to experience this. And, I'm, you know, I'm just excited that we get to, to be a part of this game because it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Both teams getting out there, getting ready to – Get this thing underway and get ready to, to serve this one. And I believe. So let's see, who, I, who do we got? Who we think it's serving? Who's serving? It looks off to for me us? like Desert Hills is serving. So I'm gonna guess that they won the coin toss. A lot of times the teams like to serve first. So, and yes, it is. Desert Hills is serving first. So there you go. Yeah, so here we go. Tatum Gardner is going to start out uh, serving, and I think that's a good choice. Why is that? Uh, she's got quite a few aces on the season. She's one of the better servers, so that's why they start with her. And we are underway getting things started. Good outside hit, but it goes out. So it's interesting. Desert Hills targeted Emery Harrison first, so it will, we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that's who they're going after. And again, back at it there. They run similar back to the middle. Broken Wilson up. Oh, see, now that's that's exactly what I was talking about. So Berta Allen has this dump that she does. She's really, really good at it. Keep an eye on that. She'll probably do that several times tonight. Check it out on the replay here. Just that little dump. That's exactly right. Okay, and that's so. Here's the thing: we got to keep an eye also on service, ser because the service errors. As we talked about, we want the uh, Cedar wants to serve them tough, so they're going after it. But that one went out the back, so we'll see if that's something. You know, if they have a lot of errors throughout the night. Carter Richens checks in and serves, and into the and net. There's another one right there. And you know what? This might be, as we talked about, some of those nerves and some of the just sitting around a little too long. Right. That once they get going, you might see them loosen up a little bit and maybe not so many errors. So, Nia Barnes is going up, but Wilson saved it. Larkin on the hit. It's blocked well. And Cedar attacks. Big block. Good save. Look at that. But just you not love quite the enough. Hustle. A little English on it, though. A little English, yeah. So now that's Emery Harrison right there, and she does a lot of things that wasn't necessarily the best set that she got, but she was able still to convert. And set up to the side. Now that again, that was a pass that was that they were out of system on that play. That's important to keep an eye on because Lauren Larkin cannot get the ball when they're doing that. So right. if they continue to serve, keeping them out of system, Lauren's not going to get the ball. The problem with with for Cedar is if Lauren's involved, she almost always gets a kill when she hits the ball. So see, they're out of system again. Yeah. Gives Cedar a good chance here to get set up. And Man. guess who again? Yep, Emery Harrison. Harrison. You're going to see that very, very often. They're going to be going to her a lot. Check it out on the replay as they get it set up perfectly here for her. And just an easy hit across. Yep, I think you're going to see a lot of that tonight. So, Oh, my. What, what a, a hit. good hit. Yeah. Yeah, now, you know what, the Desert Hill, so that's Tatum Gardner, she's super smart. And I don't know if you saw this here, They those blockers thought that they were gonna go to Lauren Larkin because she's such a huge hitter on their team, and yet they use that. That's where Desert Hills is so good, is that they have a lot of hitters on their team, so they're able to do that. Oh, and there's an ace, ace right there, yeah. 
This is back and forth. I love it. This it is, is what good. This, this is, is what, what we're, we're expecting to see for. right here. Yeah, back and forth. Brooklyn Wilson, the libero on the serve. Takes it all the way to the back row. That's a good pass. Harrison. That's a good pass. Beautiful. See, they're running. They, you get passes like that, they'll take that all night long. That you is see a doing great the, pass. You see them doing the same thing over and over again. They just like to set it up here to this near side and let Harrison take control. And why, why do something different? I mean, she's going to continue to get the kills. Like, I'd keep setting her. Bird Allen on the serve. See, they're out of system again. And out. Yeah, that was out. Yeah, there. Cedar is doing a really good job of keeping Desert Hills out of system. So Hallie Heath's on the front row again, and she is another one of their great hitters on the team. If as long as they keep serving them tough, as we mentioned, it's going to be a good game for Cedar. And as you mentioned right there, they had to. Oh, hey, you know what? Good save. Good <laughs> save. Oh, man. Take I'll tell what you, you what. can get. Yeah. <laughs> Trinity you know Pilumai. They were in trouble. All she was trying to do is keep the ball alive. And, you know, that's part of the game. And it she happens. She just sneaks it right in there. You just get lucky sometimes. Jayla Pilumai Fowler. Pilumai already has two kills. So that's this is really good for Desert Hills. And out. Another unforced error. So as a coach, those are the things that are just really hard, especially when Cedar got a few points. The worst thing that can happen is you come and serve a ball out of bounds. Right. So. It, it, this is a game of momentum. Volleyball is 100% is a game of momentum here, and you can't uh, destroy the little bit of momentum you start to have right there. Big block. Oh, that is a big block. That was Katie Larson, I believe, on the block there. Let's see if we can check it out on the, on the replay, potentially. We're not going to be able to get to it before we need to get back to the action here. but And it, again, into, into the, the net. net. Yep. Yep, and that and that's the one that really you go ah because it's so low in the net. Like if you go out the back, you're serving hard. You're like, okay, I can live with that one. But in the net, there's just no chance. So Brooklyn Robinson on the serve, picked up by Nia Barnes. Cedar oh, saves under. it, but goes yeah, out. yeah. So she's under the net. Teddy, the official, call, saw that immediately and calls it. Tightens things up just a little bit more. Nine seven here in the first set. Brooklyn both, Robinson again on the serve. Both of these teams are really good at serving. Like, they're putting a lot of pressure on each other. I love to see it. Oh. Cedar a little out of sync there on that one. Gives Desert Hills a chance here. Yep. Back to Harrison in the back. Good hit. And Cedar yeah, that's, takes the point. That was uh, Falau right there. That was a great volley back and forth on that one. It really was. Check uh, it out on the it's replay. So one thing I love about girls volleyball is you're going to see some really good rally play. That was a good pass right there. Cedar recovers oh, well. See Bert, she sees the court so well. I love to. I love watching her play. She so a lot of times setters will set that ball up. She's looking and sees, hey, there's an opening there. I'm going to go for it. Now, it didn't work right there, but that's why she has so many kills on the air as a setter. She actually has a, 71 kills as a, a setter. Good which serve, is but good. hey, a great save there as well. Yeah. Those are the ones Taking that. Taking it out. <laughs> we, when we see that as coaches, you're like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn it was, Wilson. It was actually a really bad pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. But it works. Hey, you take the points then when they come your you way really for do. sure. You really do, especially in a tight match like this. Bird on the uh, set. Tight, Good block. Tight. Cedar controls it. Harrison in the net. Yeah, that, that's an unforced error there. She's not going to do that often, but she every now and again you'll see that. She knows what she did. She knows, and she'll come back. I mean, you want her to take that ball. You want She's your best player on the team. You want her taking that ball. So Passes off just a little bit. Desert Hills with a good shot at it here. It's a good block, though. They have to take of, the easy over. Yeah, a lot of free balls going. Good block yep, again by Tatum block. Gardner, oh, but uh, back on the other side. better block there. That's Shimada right there with a monster block. That solo block getting up there. That really can bring some energy to your team. When you have a player that will go up with this solo block, bam, your team gets super amped up from that. Yeah, you love seeing that on that replay. 
Wilson nice. on the pass, dig. just a little off. Have to go back, off and the back, it's the back. too far back. Yep. It's, you know, Coach Allen is over there say, man, we got to clean up the passing a little bit. They're just serving tough, but they're not able to run their offense the way they want to. They got, they got Lauren Lorcan up uh, front again, and they really want to get the ball to her. And that one goes out. Yeah. We've had quite a few errors. Yeah, we've seen the ball, again, we, we've seen the momentum, I should say, start to swing one way, and then you see the errors. You see the ball go out of bounds. You see the ball go into that's, the net off the serves, and and we're in the, that's part of why this is such a tight game. No, Not one team is getting the momentum on their side fully yet. Right. That's the fourth serving error for Cedar, so we'll have to keep an eye on that because that's, that's a big deal. Shimada goes out of bounds with that one, and it's point thunder. It looks like Cedar was wondering if there was a touch on that. I don't think I saw a touch, but they were they were all kind of looking like maybe there was a touch. We do have a couple, a couple really good officials tonight. I like seeing that. And that one goes out from Gardner. Yeah, so here we are. We got four miss serves for Cedar, two miss serves for Desert Hills. It'll be interesting if that's going to play a big factor here. It's a three-point game right now. Good serve. Cedar recovers well. Yep, very scrappy here. And Harrison with the easy bump over. Oh! A good touch oh by Lauren goodness. Larkin. Not the best set to her, but she's still able to convert. See if we can find that here on your Holbrook Asphalt replay. And As you mentioned, is. not the best set. It was a little low. Oh, a, little a little low, low. but low. she's still able to get the job done. 12-14, keeping it close. Shimada goes high with it. Harrison yeah, recovers. There's not a lot you can do right there. You gotta be able to run your offense. Still out of system here, but you got Harrison. Oh, and out of bounds. And that's the second hitting error on Harrison. So Larkin has one kill tonight. It'll be interesting. So we're getting close to that 300 mark for her. So she needs two more kills to get to 300 for the, for the season. Oh, big block. big block right there. Again, it's Shimada right there up in that front middle. Shimada again on the oh. kill. Save, though. Look at this rally. Oh, there's beautiful Allen. She move. is so good. Beautiful move. She is move. so good. Bird Allen. Yep. I just when you think she's going to set it, she just tips it over. That's why she's so good. I tell you, you know, when you get a setter that's aggressive like that, it's just, it really, really helps the team because she's a great setter, but she's not afraid to play offense, too. An errant pass there, but they were able to recover. And it's into the net. Katie Larson can't get it over. Yeah, that's another one where you're just like, man, sometimes it's like live to play another day. Just get the ball over the net, and let's see if we can get the ball back instead of just smash into the net. But Wilson on the serve. Set up for Harrison. Harrison, the easy bump over. Yeah, a little roll shot there. And off the block. Off the Pumai, man, I'll tell you what, she is really coming to play tonight. Ties it up here in the first set as well, 15 apiece. Yeah, you love to see it. some of the other players stepping up here for Desert Hills. That's her third kill tonight, so. Yeah, and once again, Cedar just has to send it over. Oh, look at that. See, now, again. see, that's the sign of a good, that's the sign of a great setter. She knows that Pili Mai is hot, so she's going to her. Gets her the ball. Yep, and see, here's the thing about us being a setter. You, you want the assist, right? And sure. the only way to do that is for someone to get a kill. So if you have a player that's hot, get the ball to that player. So go. It's super smart by Tatum. Go with the hot hand as that one goes out of bounds and again we're tied up. I believe that's number three for Desert Hills. So and Bird Allen back, back at it on the serve. I'm seriously, I'm digging the, the yellow shoes. <laughs> They're pretty awesome, aren't they? Good block and... Desert yeah, Hills. These teams are playing scrappy. Look at this. Oh man. oh, man. Brooklyn Robinson. You know, sometimes you love for the teams to come out and get a great pass and just pound the ball, but you love seeing them playing so scrappy. 
you know, we got blocks going on and then just tap overs. And I mean, this is a great volleyball game, 17-16. You can't ask for much more. Jay LaFowler on the serve. Harrison. Oh, oh Harrison. there she is. There she is. And again, why go anywhere else? You why got go anywhere else? Perfect kill here by Harrison. Yep. <laughs> she beat our camera on that one. That was that was quick. <laughs> That's her second kill right there. And then an and ace an to ace. follow it up. Harrison's on fire right now for the Lady Reds. 18-17. Oh, and she the hits error. the top Dang of the net. She had a little momentum going. She did. And then that. You know, it's interesting. This game is so close. No one's called the timeout yet. Yeah, I've I noticed. But I guarantee you we will probably see all four timeouts used before the end of the set. Because <laughs> that's the, if that's it stays it close, this? they're going to use them. Yeah. They're going to use them. Oh, and that's ace. it. That's ace. ace. Yeah, that, that was tricky. It looked like it was floating like it was going to go out. And it just dropped in. Maybe a little topspin on the ball to get that in. Brooklyn Robinson on the serve here. It's a great hit. Oh. They recover well. Back at it goes Cedar. And a big block up front. What a dig. Hallie Heath on the block. And here she is again. Heath getting and a lot of touches for the, volleyball. for the Thunder. This time outside. Taylor Graff. It's a great dig by Emery right there. Heath. Oh. What a oh, that's, volley. Oh, man, what a rally. And then for Heath to come through with an awesome <laughs> kill like that. You hear Mark in the background with Thor's hammer. Check it out, the back Bam, and forth, right and then there. boom, the yep. kill. Oh, and here's our first time out. I just mentioned <laughs> the first you time get out. two points up, you're going to see it. You're going to see a little, just a little bit of momentum there. And, and Coach Ang Angelin's going to say, nope, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah, exactly. We'll take a quick 30-second break ourselves. We'll be back right after this. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home because home is who we are. It's tight here. Thunder up 20 to 18 on the Fan Sports Network here in the first set. So let me tell you how close it is here. Both teams currently have seven kills, and they Cedar has one more service error, but they are just back and forth, really, in almost every aspect of the game. It's just awesome. Brooklyn Robinson. Cedar a little oh, out of sync there. Man. Dang it. You just hate to see it. Uh, just a play like that where it's, it just should be easy to keep the ball in. It goes right out of bounds. Back out of here, Brooklyn Robinson. Also, both teams have two aces right now, so they're just really tight. Good block by Heath. Cedar needs to just, they need to clean it up right now before this one slips away. Desert Hills has made a run, and they're looking to put this first set away. See Coach Allen over there encouraging the girls, like, keep it going. Allen on the set. Big block right there. And that's Taylor Graff. Holly Heath, a little touch over the top. Coates. It's a good to Graff, and it's oh, Those are those ones that just sneak over the net. You just wish the blocker had their hands up just a little bit more, but Graf's able to sneak it right down there the other side. And, and there's that second Cedar timeout. Takes timeout. Cedar's timeout will keep it right here. Only, well, maybe, maybe two more scores for Desert Hills. Can Cedar go on a run here, though? Yeah, right Cedar, now, Desert Hills is getting all the momentum. They really are, yeah. And here I am saying that they're going to use all four timeouts, but with Desert Hills making that run, they might not have to use any here. They so we'll not. see. We'll they see. Yeah, and again, just the first set here, so can 
Can Cedar hang in long enough through the first set to make something happen? If not, can they come back in the second set? I think we're in for a good one here tonight as this first set has brought a lot of back and forth. And hey, Cedar led the whole first half of this first set. They were up until about 15, and then it got tied up at 15, tied up again at 16, and then since then, Desert Hills has taken off. Yep, I felt like Cedar kind of had the momentum at the beginning of the, of the match. And then they just, just a few errors here and there, and Desert Hills was able to capitalize and just use that momentum. It feels like, you know, and it's really possible because of senior nights, maybe Desert Hills came out a little flat, but I don't feel like they're playing flat anymore. It looks like they're rolling right now. This will be a crucial serve right here. Can she get it in? Because, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh and, and almost it. an ace. Oh, an yeah, ace. It is. it is an ace. It is. Yeah, she's you, been, hey, she's been on fire. She's been serving for a while awesome. now. awesome, yeah. So coming out of a timeout, you know, a lot of the times they'll miss that serve, but to get an ace, that's awesome. That's a great pass right there. Graf trying to get it into that hole in the middle. Or excuse me, Coates. Coates back at it. Oh, oh there you big go. block. Big block, but out of bounds. So that's actually a kill right there for Cedar. So let's see if they yeah. can use the momentum. Is it too little, too late? This, so this is where you, you go back and you say, you got to get your serves in, but you got to serve tough still. Ansley Coates. Back to Coates. Yeah, right now you kind of wish you had Harrison on the front row. Right. But they can do it with some of their other players. And it's Graf with the kill. Well, not a bad first set. I know the score isn't as tight as what we had seen leading up to it, but it really was a really, really close first set. And what a kill to end it all right there. Yeah. And with that, we're going to take a break. First set goes to Desert Hills. Second set coming up on the Fan Sports Network. Adams Wealth Advisory is a financial planning firm. It's combined with an investment firm to provide the best possible outcomes for our clients. I always believe if you're intentional with your financial plan, things are going to work out really well for you. Visit AdamsWealthAdvisors.com or call 752-1702 to schedule a time with an advisor today own property and want to rent it then you need the right team with 11 years of local experience a staff of over 25 employees and a 4.9 google rating aim to maximize your rental income and find quality tenants while keeping turnover low to increase your revenue and truly maintain your property learn more at redrockpropertymanagement.com this cheesesteak is so freshly grilled you can still hear it sizzling i can hear it too me too. Actually, it's the... Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Need an appliance or two? AWP's got you. Check out the remodeled, expansive showroom highlighting the cafe series with colors like matte black, matte white, and modern glass. Make your kitchen stand out. Come see the local boys at AWP across the freeway from the Bloomington Walmart. You could wander around a warehouse store forever and never find the one thing that can make all the difference. A helpful face? Now that's something to consider. Everything your local Bucks Ace stands for is written on our faces. Welcoming, neighborly, knowledgeable. When you're in need of a helpful face, visit one of our three Southern Utah locations. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods Cross. Did you know that St. George News has a new app? Download the St. George News app today and stay up to date on everything happening in Southern Utah. Get instant notifications on news, weather, sports, and more. Download the app today and get your local news now. The Fan Sports Network is your home for local sports. Catch The Drive with Devin Dixon from 7 to 9 and From the Bleachers with Caden Foremaster and Mark Musgrave from 4 to 6. Plus, Utah Tech and high school sports live on the radio and streaming on thefansportsnetwork.com. Desert Hills takes set number one here. And remember, whoever wins this matchup, they are the Region 9 champions. So this matchup, hey, this game means a lot right now. It really does. And, you know, it was interesting. I think Cedar was up 14 to 10, had a little bit of momentum. 
And Desert Hills goes on a 15 to nine run. No, let's see. Five. A 15 to five run there to, to end out the set. So let's see if they keep that momentum going here coming into the next set. Absolutely. Desert Hills ended up with 10 kills. Cedar had seven. The interesting thing is Pili Mai had four of those kills. Uh, I think we had Bert Allen with two kills and Emory Harrison with two kills on that first set. So we'll keep an eye on, on each of those players coming up here on this next set. Yeah, absolutely. So we're getting close here to starting the second set. And you wonder, is the home crowd helping Desert Hills a little bit? Cedar has a pretty good fan base. A lot of people here cheering for both sides. Yeah. Great pass right there. Oh, Larkin. what a block. Couldn't get it past the outstretched hands of the Reds there. And Harrison oh, down the there pipe. There it is. There it is right there. All right, let's see if they can get that going right there. I'm kind of surprised that, I mean, Larkin hasn't been able to really get a lot going yet. So their go-to is not happening yet. Here she goes again, Larkin. Oh, and there, there it is. is. We right called for cue. it. We called for it right, right there. Right on cue. We call for it. I would keep going to that if they can, because she is, I think, 6'2", and it's, you know, it she's hitting off. up. Yeah, she's hitting over that block sometimes, so. Tatum's back up serving it. This is, see if you can get a few. Good save. Larkin trying to get the block. It's the touch over the top. Shimada. Oh, and Shimada the kill right the there kill. from Shimada. And right after the kill, heads to the bench, bringing on Ansley Coates. So you wonder there if, if Desert Hills thought that they were going to go outside there to Harrison and they were able to get the kill right there. They take it to Pilamai. Now Harrison, Boom. that's it, yep. They're able to recover out of the rafters. Yeah, right off the flags up there. The Cedar coach is over there saying, hey, I don't know if they can do that, can they? Get it back over, great so rally they, here. So they actually talk before in the huddle with the, the captains, they'll talk beforehand and say, okay, look, here's this is what we're dealing with. We've got some basketball standards, we've got some flags, everything's in play. They will point out if there's anything that's not in play. So if something is Cedar just ridiculously low, yep, they'll- Cedar should have known yep. that that's still in play. They end up getting the point, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Good serve. Really good serve, and then out of bounds. Yeah, so those are the little things that you kind of miss when you're watching the game. That service pressure, keeping the ball off the net, it makes the setter do some crazy things sometimes, and then an errant hit. See, going. That's, that's it again right there. And it goes out. That's that's a kill. Yeah. So Peely Mai has really come to play tonight. I love seeing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yep. I saw they uh, on St. George News they did a performance player of the of they the, did of the week with her. Yeah. She has five kills right now, so she's really really playing well. I like that idea to go back. It looked like they're going to go to Harrison. She sends it backwards instead, and it yep. throws the thunder off there. So you can do that when you have a and front there row it is setter. Again, There's Bird Allen. Allen right there. Yep. When you have a front row setter, you're going to see the middle run that slide is what they call that, where they can actually go back behind them. Uh, they run it almost. And here, oh, yeah, look at Bird. She's so she's, smart. She so sets smart. it perfectly up yep. into that back corner. And she is on the serve straight to Wilson. Oh, we got a net and call net. on Cedar. Yep. Yeah, Teddy saw that one and called it right away. Yeah, so when you have a front row setter, you're going to see him run that slide a little bit back there. That's the one of the advantages of having that front row setter. It's a good pass right there. And Harrison out. And out of bounds. Yep. I thought, I thought for sure she was going to come after that one. Well, it started out as 4-1. to one. We're now 5-4. to four. And Brooklyn Wilson continues to serve. It's 
It's another great pass right there. Set the middle. Yep, you yeah, got to love great it. Great one. And as we talked about in the beginning of the game, some one of our keys to the game was they got to get their middle going, which will open up the outside. Let their outside hitters hit too. So that's Cedar's doing a good job of that. Up by two points right now. Emery Harrison on the serve. Pilamai. Great, a couple great digs right there. And big uh, block. Yeah. Love seeing this back and forth. So just like the last set, Cedar's got a little momentum going into the front. Let's see if Desert Hills can recover and kind of bring it back in. Oh, and an ace from Harrison. And an ace right on Q2. It's again, they get into a four-point lead here. That's two aces so far on the, on the game. Oh, what a pass. They're going to run that middle. Oh, oh and, and she just gets she behind it. She sails it. Oh, I thought for sure she was going to come in and just bam, pound that thing, but she missed that. You know, she, she's coming back next year. She's just a junior, and I think she's going to be one of their key players coming back next year. Yeah, Holly Heath, uh, definitely an, an athlete. Oh, ace. And another, <laughs> another ace. ace. <laughs> Cedar right now trying to just walk away with this here They're at this trying. point. They're 10-4. Let's see if Craig calls a timeout here. One more score. Oh, yeah, there he score. is. There he goes. Calls he goes the timeout. timeout. Yep, timeout taken. Great run by the Lady Reds. 10-4. to four. We'll step aside. Be back in the second set when we return. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods Cross. I've got 15 seconds to list all the reasons that you should call Jason Baum at Bay Equity Home Loans. First time home buyer specialist, down payment assistant loans, investment loans other guys haven't even heard of, reverse mortgages, and so many more to name before I run out of time. 10 to four. The Lady Reds currently have the lead in the second set over the Thunder. Thunder takes that one though. And here we are once again, both teams for the match have 12 kills apiece. I mean, this is just a tight, a tight one. A tight one, although right now Cedar has a sizable lead. I mean, six points is pretty big when you got a contest like this. Let's see what they do here. Emery Harrison again on the serve. Great pass right there. Oh, good touch. Yep, great pass. Maybe not the best set, but Heath is able to capitalize and put it away. Yeah, from the serve to the score, here you go again Great on the pass. replay. And just a little tip right there. Let's see if Fowler can take advantage here. Oh, oh just, just the misses. top of the it net. It looked like he was gonna sneak over, but not quite. Yeah, not quite enough juice on it there. Reds add to that lead just a little bit more, 11-5. Yeah, uh, both of these coaches are probably wanting to clean up those missed serves just a little bit. Coats on the serve. You wanted to be aggressive, but you also wanted to get the ball in, so. They go back up to Brooklyn Robinson, two in a row there. Oh, here and she again, is again. Robinson. She's, she's trying here. Shimada gets it across for the Reds and the Thunder. Four in a row there. Four in for a row, her. right back yeah. to her. Let's see if they, can get, if they can get a good one here, they'll, oh, see, they'll there go they Halley, oh, and Halley. Oh, and just miss hit right there. Missed. A little Halley, bit of a miss hit there. not quite there. This Desert Hills team has a lot of seniors on it. It really does. Coates sends it a little too far. That was a, you know, they've had a good little run here. Let's see if they can keep that lead at six or if Desert Hills can cut back into it here. It'd be good to see Desert Hills get just a little bit closer to keep the game in reach. Oh, and just out Shimada the back. And takes it out back. Yeah, let's see if that Desert Hills gets that momentum like they did the last set. They're starting to build off of it now. Trying to chip away at that 
big lead that the Reds were able to put up on the board. Yeah, ho hopefully Cedar's not feeling too comfortable and hopefully Desert Hills isn't feeling like too down yet. And Wilson oh, able to dig the hit and Shimada blocked. Heath back at it. Oh, what a dig. And oh, again, and a block, a Howie monster Heath. block. What a block, man. Back and forth, and then just a monster block right there. Check this out, one block there. Tries to get the hit across, and again, the block for the score. A great pass right there, they go the right side. Oh, I think oh, that was going out. That could have been out. I think that was going out, but you know, when you're there, you don't know. It was, it was close. It it's might have tough. been in, but you know, you don't know. It's tough. You gotta take it. And here's Desert Hills. They're starting to roll. A little run, and I think that's I wanna, the right call. Let's see the replay. Let's see how close that was to going out. I think it yeah, was out. It was, it was pretty close there. I, I think it was, it was going out. Close. But again, you probably want her to take it if she can get to it. But, you know, it's a point if, if not. So, Yeah, you take what you can get. We'll step aside for just a moment, and we'll be back right after this. We are Utah's financial outfitter, and we're here when it's time for your business to climb higher. Cash Valley Bank. Mountains away. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Check out this week's edition of TGIF on stgeorgenews.com. TGIF is your weekend adventure guide to all the fun and exciting things going on in southern Utah this weekend. Find this week's edition at stgeorgenews.com and click the shows on the menu tab. Have a blast this weekend. 12 to 9, the Thunder is starting to chip away at the lead here that the Lady Reds have been able to build to start the second set. Coming out of the timeout here, the Thunder will try again to just even this thing up a little bit more. Yep, Cedar's taking a timeout, see if they can kind of stop that momentum that they've got going right now. Let's see what happens here. Brooklyn Robinson. Good it's serve, but even better pass and a kill. They're having a game today. She has. I feel like we've had a couple players that, I mean, obviously they're great players, but maybe a couple people that are, you know, on each side of the court that have been a little bit of a surprise to, to bring the, their teams back into the game. Whoa, and again, a monster block guess who? There. She's on fire right now, Annalise Shimada. Makes it 14 to nine. And they're getting an, their lead back here. Up five points. Let's see if Desert Hills can, can come back here. Go to coach. Oh, Big block by man, Hallie We're Heath. getting blocks on both sides going. Yeah, we are. Yeah, again, Hallie Heath. Good volley back and forth here. But it's Heath with the big with block. The big block, yep. Oh, see, there's Bird again. Didn't quite get it, though. He saved it. Here's Bird on the set. Shimada comes uh, around this, and yeah, sails the it. the slide and just sails it out. So she's currently got three kills and three errors right now. Hallie Heath on the surf. And it sails long. Out, yeah. Just out. That's a good serve, though. Again, like I said earlier, those are the ones, like, when you get them real close, obviously you want them to drop, but you're, you'll take that as a coach as long as you're being aggressive. What a pass. That's a great pass. And, and Larkin see, gets it in. When you have Larkin right there, you want that pass just like that. That's awesome right there. And Larkin again here on the replay. Just sneaks it in. Yeah. That's the third kill. That that's her 300th kill on the season. There it is, and another ace. And then an ace. Here comes Desert Titans Hills. Titans up again. 13-15. This is yep. about where they got it last time. Yep. About and that two or three point deficit, and then they started to lose it again to Cedar, but. And, they and Coach, Coach Anglin would probably like to take a timeout here, but she only has one left, so she's not going to quite do it yet. Good dig by dig. Wilson. And, and a, a block. block, but out of bounds. Yep, out of bounds. Out so of that's bounds. a kill. 
That's a great play right there by Graf. The, the outsides for Desert Hills have been playing really well been tonight. Playing very well. Blocked a little bit there by Larkin. Well, Just a fingertip. That's oh. all they needed. And, and they call a double right there. A uh, double. Call a double. Ties it up at 15 apiece. We've got ourselves wow, I, a that's game. What, what a comeback. So two times in a row now Desert Hills has done that. Let's see yeah. if they keep that momentum and keep it going. That last set, we were tied at 18, so. Harrison, good save. There's Peely Mai. And another and kill. There she is, Peely Mai. That's a uh, uh, match leading six kill right there for her. She came to play for her senior night. Peely Mai's been tearing it up out there, especially on this near side where they've been placing her. She's finding everything, just placing it well. It's a good pass right there. Oh, just She's not able to the touch to connect. And here comes Graf again. And oh, but out. out. Yeah. So she she's getting the sets. She just got to be able to put them in. And the one disadvantage that Graf has, yes, she's five eleven, but when your other line are six one and six two up yep. front on your hitters, I mean. So she's currently hitting, uh, she has four kills and five errors. So she needs to clean that up just a little bit. And that goes out. Ooh, that might be the first error for Peely Mai. Yeah, it sure was. That was her first she's, error. She's, she's done just, well so far in this She really one. has. You'll give her that one as yeah, a coach. Yeah, you give her one. You give her one. Naya Barnes here. Gets it to Wilson. And a little touch by Peely Mai. You see her chance to reset. Went up to Larkin. Larkin with the little touch. Oh, and she oh, got and it. That's a kill. Not a monster kill, Not but a it's a kill. kill. But it's a kill. You know what? On the stat sheet, it all looks the same, no matter <laughs> how you right. do it. That's right. <laughs> We're tied up, 17 apiece. Bringing in Cara Richens. Another one of those seniors, as you mentioned, a very senior laden team. A little dink over. Healy Mai again. Coates. Or excuse me, that was Harrison. That was Harrison. Ooh, that's a that great a good one. kill right there. Great one, Brooklyn Robinson. Set up perfectly. Gets it to go. And Desert Hills takes the lead, 18-17. Yeah, I, I just think Desert Hills, all of their hitters tonight, are, it's just a well-rounded team. They're really doing a good job all across the front. And as big I say block. that, get a big old block. And Harrison's got some power, but the problem is they get their hands in front of that on those blocks. It's hard to recover from that block. Yep. Okay, here's the timeout coming. Yeah, you're right. It really, She does have that power. You got to be able to see the block, though. You got to be able to get around that block and not just pound it into the block. So That's right. We'll take a quick break here for the timeout and be back right after this. Own property and want to rent it? Then you need the right team with 11 years of local experience, a staff of over 25 employees, and a 4.9 Google rating. Aim to maximize your rental income and find quality tenants while keeping turnover low to increase your revenue and truly maintain your property. Learn more at redrockpropertymanagement.com. When it comes to your child's teeth, Dr. Cody and his experienced staff at Johnson Pediatric Dentistry are game changers. So when it comes to checkups, a toothache, or any problem with your kid's teeth, call experienced veteran Dr. Cody Johnson at Johnson Pediatric Dentistry, 628-0511. Coming out of the timeout here, 1917, the Thunder. After Cedar had... I believe it was a five, six. They were up by six. Something yeah. like that. Yep, and I was thinking it might have been too much for Desert Hills to come back, but here they are finding themselves in the same spot they were the last set. It's interesting. So Harrison has four kills on the match, but five errors. So she she needs to really clean that up. Oh, and a great serve there. Tough recovery. Oh, not enough on not it. Not quite enough. So. You really want to see if your your big players can come play. You know, and, and Larkin has four kills on the match, no errors, but, you know, both of them, you'd think you might see a little bit more from. There's 
Larkin again. Scrappy Harrison. play again. Okay, so here's she, every time I talk about her, here she, she <laughs> here comes. comes. So she comes rolling back. She's in. like, okay, fine. You know what, Brent? Here it is. <laughs> That's right. She knows. <laughs> she can hear you talking about Let's her. Let's see from if Larkin down there. does the same thing now, since I was talking about her too. It's Bird Allen on the serve. How do you miss her with those yellow shoes? That's right. Yellow shoes in the headband. Larkin, there she was. She there was ready she for was. you, but it was a good block on the other side. Instead, Peely Mai is like, you know what? I got this. And now Harrison. Just yeah, sends it back over. That's a good play. Going again to Larkin. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I just got to wake these players up a little bit, That's apparently. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's see that replay. Let's see if we can catch that here. Here it is on the set, and Larkin just Bam, right down the just middle. Just pounds that thing. You know, it's awesome. I love watching her hit the ball. She can really hit it. She just gets up there. I mean, I know she's 6'2", but the vertical leap she has she as well. She gets up and puts it straight down. Okay, that's a good pass right to the middle. And Larkin, by the way, went to the bench there as well, so she gets a little bit of a break. And there's and there Harrison. Harrison. She's like, you know what? You talk bad about me, and here I'm going to come <laughs> show you. I wasn't talking bad. No, I just was pointing out, you know, that she just wasn't coming she, to play. She had, she had to wake up a little bit. She's just waking up a little bit. You know, that first set, she looked really good, and then, yeah, you're right. Starts to. Oh, a little tight. Oh, oh. just a too tight of a pass. Hey, and here come the Reds, 2021 here. Oh, I love this. I love seeing just a good volleyball match. And here's Harrison again on the serve. So if Cedar gets this point here, let's see if here oh, it is on the ace. Let's see if Coach Allen calls the timeout. I, I would imagine he's probably going to get close holding to off, doing that. He's holding off for a little bit. Let's see. If they like, take if they take the lead here, I would not be surprised to see that timeout. Okay, he's he's trusting his players here. I like that. He a pass from he to Peely Going Mai. up to Peely Mai. Oh yeah. Oh, oh what a good. dig! <laughs> what a dig! <laughs> that was phenomenal. Uh, and and Brooklyn's like, nope, I got this. It was out. Oh, she, oh. They called it out. Okay, I thought that was in. We got a replay here? Uh, let's see if we got it. Do we have time? Yeah, let's check it out here on the replay. Oh, I I think that might have been out. I don't know. That's tough to say. Okay. They go with the timeout, they though. They went with the timeout. Tell you what, we got one more. We got time now with the timeout. Let's, uh, let's take one more look at it. I'm going to get it over here on our on our big screen on the replay. Let's check it out on the replay again. Ooh, that was, yeah, that was down it, the I line, mean, but yeah, so they, it's, it's tough to see in real time Yeah, for and sure. you've got that line judge that's looking right down the line, and they were immediately to call that. So it wasn't like they hesitated. That's what they saw. They saw out there, so. Hey, and you know what? For the Reds right now, after you just gave up that, that massive lead that you were able to, to build through the first part of the set, you're back with the lead again, 22-21 here, coming into the timeout. Let's see what they can do as they come out of here. Can they continue to grow on this Yeah, lead? you know, they've got the momentum right now. Let's see if they keep that going here. And it would be fun to see this one be tied up at one, but Desert Hills has is, got other plans, so. We like to see a good 27-25 kind of set, too. Yeah, if we you know, go you know, into the 30s even, that would be fun. Oh, what a pass. Watch this middle, boom. Yep. There it is. That's a kill Allie for, for Holly Heath right there. It'll tie when, it up at 22. I, we talk about this. When they get those passes, they're pretty deadly. So, yeah, Cedar's got to put a little more pressure on that on the, when they're serving right there. I've really, uh, really enjoyed watching what Holly Heath's been able to do there in the middle. She's done a lot as well as we talked about. Uh, we talked about Peely Mai on the outside. Wow, they called and the double there. Double. But, yeah, we've talked about what Peely Mai's been able to do. She's looked great, Larkin with a lot of power, but Hallie Heath in the middle has been doing great. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's some of the little things that you don't notice, but, you know, even blocks and and just getting the Cedar kind of out of out of place with some of their stuff. Like, she's there influencing the game quite a bit. Scrappy, scrappy volleyball right here. Wilson gets it over. Bird on set. Oh, and it's and out. Oh, dang it. Katie Larson you hate, sails it yeah, a little yeah, too far. Yeah, you want to get that ball in right there, but for Desert Hills, you're saying oh, we, we might have this wrapped up again right here. 
This is where Cedar's wishing that Harrison was on the front row again. Oh, oh and then a serve out on, on set point. <laughs> oh, no. The Thunder are looking to wrap it up, and the Reds are back at it. All right, let's see if Cedar can get this ball in or if, if Desert Hills is going to have other plans to put this set away right now. Ansley Coates on the serve. That was a good oh, serve. Almost an ace. Threw the Thunder off their game a little bit. Bird Allen to Shimada. Oh! Good dig by great Wilson. Dig. Oh. Back out of Shimada on the block. And back to Brooklyn. Oh, oh, there it is! My goodness, man. Desert Hills twice in a row now has come from behind. They're in the same position they were the first time they met. They went up That's two right. sets. Let's see if Cedar's got plans to, to bring it back. Desert Hills. This is uh, reminiscent to their last matchup, but it was Cedar that got the first two sets, and Desert Hills had to roll back into it. Can Cedar maybe try to do the same here? That's right. Get, yep. a set two, or get a set three and four under their belt and take this one to five. That's right. We'll find out when we come back here on the Fan Sports Network. Thunder lead two sets to nothing. Asphalt. It's not something we think about much, except when it's in bad shape. At Holbrook Asphalt, we help cities, HOAs, and businesses avoid replacing painfully expensive roads and parking lots. To avoid the cost of replacing asphalt, you must effectively preserve it while it's still in good condition. University research has shown Holbrook Asphalt's HA5 slows asphalt aging by 67%. We make your pavement assets last longer, cost less to own, all while achieving higher property values. Visit HolbrookAsphalt.com to discover more. Inspired design. Ultra quiet operation. To you, it's a Bryant Evolution cooling system. To us, it's the ultimate machine. All set. For the dealer nearest you, visit Bryant.com. Need an appliance or two? AWP's got you. Check out the remodeled expansive showroom highlighting the cafe series with colors like matte black, matte white, and modern glass. Make your kitchen stand out. Come see the local boys at AWP across the freeway from the Bloomington Walmart. Nets on Fire is the place to hoop in Southern Utah. Elevate your game with group or individual training with elite coaching. Hustle to NetsOnFire.org to learn more and see why so many rising stars hoop at Nets. Nets on Fire, building champions on and off the court. Relatives coming to visit, not enough room, or maybe you're looking to host a family reunion and need a house with a pool. Well, Red Rock Vacation Rentals has got you covered. From two-bedroom condos to 10-bedroom luxury homes, they truly have something for everyone. Plan your perfect getaway or staycation. Visit stgeorgeutahvacationrentals.com. Her Stays Hardware is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. Her General Store, the big ace store on Bluff and on Main and Cedar City. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home, because home is who we are. House of Jump is Southern Utah's only indoor trampoline park, and your only place to jump, dunk, and dodge. Head on over to our house, the House of Jump. As a local business owner, it's important to get the word out about your business. More people equals more revenue for you. Get your business in front of over 160,000 people in Southern Utah each week with St. George News. Contact St. George News today. Her Stays Hardware is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. Her General Store, the big ace store on Bluff and on Main in Cedar City. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the... Hello? Cheesesteak? Grilled. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Welcome back in, everybody, as we are 
in a bit of a break right now after Desert Hills gets two sets. Cedar had the lead during the last one for most of it and just were not quite able to hold on to it. It's been kind of the same story for the first two sets. We've had Cedar coming out with kind of, a, you know, even that second set, they had a big lead right there. Yeah. And Desert Hills was able to claw back and, and get right back in the game. And, you know, it's interesting. I'm looking just through some of the stats. Desert Hills has 22 kills to Cedar's 15. So they're, they're able, they, you know, the first set and a half, we were kind of like really tight on that. And now Desert Hills has been able to find some offense and put some balls away. So that's great. Uh, looking at some aces, so we've got five aces for Cedar to three for Desert Hills. So that's pretty tight there. It looks like Tatum Gardner is really cleaning up in the assist department. She's getting a lot of those assists. And Bird Allen obviously is as well. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one go five. But it's going to require Cedar to get that lead and then hold on to that lead. You know, a lot of times when a team gets up two sets, you'll see them kind of let off just a little bit. Let's see if Desert Hills lets off a little bit and opens up the door for Cedar in this third set. And that's going to be really important right here for for Cedar is you almost kind of hope Desert Hills does because, you know, give yourself a little bit of more wiggle room here. But uh, if you're Desert Hills, you, you just have to play strong. Just, just get it done in three sets, which if they do will not be a reflection of this game. This has been a really good tight one throughout. So if they finish this one three sets to nothing, that's not necessarily telling of this game so far. Cedar has really come to play. Yep. I do still think we need to see a little more from Harrison coming up. Desert Hills has been able to spread the offense a little bit, so. And here they go, Cedar. Oh, just some miscommunication there, it looked like. And the Thunder get on the board early. Yeah, an ace to start off the set. This is, again, why you have Gardner starting off as your server here. Oh, two, Ooh, and in, again, two in a row. Two in a row. She set right. that one just about perfectly as well. A little short. So for Cedar, you got to stop the bleeding right here. You got to get get this pass and get your offense going. Get a point on the board. This time she sends it right over to Harrison. Quick touch over the, the net. And it's Larkin. Not Good able dig. to convert. Ooh, a little floater there. Keely Mai. Oh, <laughs> tuck it out. And oh, it's just a miscommunication by. there. All right, Cedars come out a little flat here for, from the third set here. Let's see if they can clean it up and get rolling. Desert Dang. Hills is moving, so they still have the momentum from the last set. Straight back to Harrison. Allen and Shimada. Good spot, just not quite far enough. It's Peely Mai. She gets it. Quick 4 nothing here for the Thunder and Peely Mai on the last two. Yeah, she this she's having a great night tonight. Very impressed with her play. Gardner's just having fun back there. Yeah, she the really away. is. Okay, there you go. There so now is. for Cedar, she's a, they're able to kind of stop that momentum. Let's see if they can roll a little bit or if Desert Hills is going to say, nope, we're going to get the ball right back here. What a great match, though. Ooh, oh, an ace for her, beautiful too. Beautiful ace. Liko Falau. Falau coming with the ace. That's her first of the night. Another great serve for her. Desert Hills just has to send it over, but keeping them out of system. And... I'm not sure if that was a block or I if she hit it in the I net. Don't I don't know if that tell. was. I think it was more in the net than it was a block. We Let's, have a replay on we that. We do here. Let's check it out. Set up from Wilson, and I think it was just yeah, a little low. Yeah, it looked low. like it was just in the net. Pilumai tries to redeem herself. And does. And does. Another kill for Pilumai. Going back up to serve, Kara Richens. 
That's eight kills for Pili Mai. She's leading she's the having, match right now. She's having now. a great one. A little out of system ball here. It's a good dig by Tatum. Oh, and good. <laughs> good you kill see by Brooklyn, Brooklyn go, Robinson. Uh, not really what I meant she to do. She put her do, hands up. <laughs> I don't think that's what I was going for, I but it works. I wasn't going for that, but you know what? It works. Again, a kill is a kill. Richens again here on the serve. Ooh, just got her jammed just a little bit. Harrison recovers well. That's a good dig. Oh, and again. back at it again. again, Brooklyn Robinson. Yeah, that's two plays in a row where she's gotten, you know, a hit that maybe she would, didn't think would be a kill and was able to do that. Okay, what do we have going on here with, what do you suppose Coach Allen's talking about here? That's a good question because right now, I mean, with this team leading, they're, they're looking really good out there. I'm not exactly sure yeah, that, what he's looking for. Yeah, it's interesting that. With the officials. I'm wondering what he could be talking about. I mean, his team's up by four right now. I'm not sure exactly what and he's. And maybe he's seeing something and he's saying, hey, keep your okay, eye out for this. Let's see if this. we can see what they're. Okay, is it, did they call it? Put, Okay, I'm not. I, you know what? Honestly, I don't know what, don't what know they were either. seeing. I was trying to, to I was look. Trying to, I was trying to figure it out as well. Well, we're back at it. Harrison Desert has to Hills just did save a good job one. of keeping them out of system. Oh, and that was a great. They game. are. Desert Hills is rolling right now. They still have that momentum going. Cedar needs to be careful. I mean, they're down five early. We've seen Desert Hills come back. Can Cedar yeah. do the same thing here? Uh, and it's out. A serve out. Let's see if they use some momentum there from a missed serve to get him going. Nia Barnes on the serve. Oh. And double, yep. And a double, yep. That's a really good serve right there by Nia Barnes. That's a great Barnes. serve. Yep. Okay, so if they can get one more point, I kind of feel like they're back into this I, thing. I do too. Barnes again. Oh, oh top the of the net. Uh, oh, you hate you to hate see that. You hate to see that. Not what you need right there. Let's see if Desert Hills can capitalize on that and maybe run away with this one right here. Brooklyn Wilson. It's a great pass. Good spot. And the slide. Oh. This on the dig. Trinity Pilamai. Now Harrison. Oh, oh just it not was enough. a really good idea. It just wasn't executed right. And that's like what you had talked about earlier, trying to evade the block. She saw the open spot, but just wasn't able to get it yep. high enough over the net to get it done. Yeah, it, it probably was just a just a couple centimeters away from being a really good ball. Yep. Timeout taken. We'll take a quick timeout ourselves. It's ten to five. The Thunder lead here in the third set on the Fan Sports Network. We love giving back to our community, and over the years, we have provided vehicles for families in need, supported local charities, and helped train our first responders. Dealer Collision, your place for collision repair. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home, because home is who we are. Again, 10 to five here, Thunder. Up on top in the third set, they took the first two sets. I'm trying. And okay, so Kate, I'm, I'm learning a little bit here. It looks like there was a yellow card given with, during that delay. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who the yellow card was on. I and I was not sure on that either, but it was given to I believe it was to Desert Hills. And back at it here, Harrison over to Wilson on the dig. Keith. Oh, just and a miss out. hit. Just a miss hit.
This has been a really successful lineup for the Thunder here tonight as well. I agree, yeah, it really has. And like I said, it's not just one player. They've got a lot coming from a bunch of different players. So Pelemai has played really well. Obviously, that was a miss hit right there, but she's come to play. Brooklyn's come to play. Hallie and Lauren both. I mean, they just have a lot going on There's from a lot all, of of their, all of their hitters. And then and you got Tatum setting row. the ball well. The, you've got um, Brook, Brooklyn Wilson that's doing a great job on the back line there. Yes, for sure. So they're just, they got a lot going on. It's a great pass there. And a good block again. Might have even been in the net. Yeah, but I couldn't tell here's again. Here's the Reds' comeback. It's 10 to 9 now. Yeah, look at that. They did it. They called the timeout at 10 5 and come back with four straight points. But really, it's been a lot of Thunder mistakes. It's been three outs in a row. Yep. Yeah, they got to clean it up and get the ball in bounds here. Let's see if Brooklyn can do that right here. Yep, that's good a great. Spot. That's a good. That's probably a good play right there, just to get them back and getting some confidence again. Here goes Peely Mai. Easy touch. See, there you go. So that's all you need. Like, you don't have like when you get to that point, you don't have to power the ball. A lot of times, it's just a matter of just getting the ball in the court, and right. good things happen when you do that. So, I like seeing that. She's she's playing so well tonight. I love seeing it. I love that she came, they went back to her and she was able to get the kill there. Jayla Fowler on the serve. It gives the Thunder a chance here. Big kill. That's a big kill right there. Brooklyn Robinson has had a handful of those tonight. Yeah, she's at seven kills right now. Yeah, just she's on just, the... just behind Pili Mai. Pili Mai has 10, and she's at 7, so. Fowler, oh, great serve. Just when the Reds get close, yeah, the Thunder the, start to pull away. Thunder are like, what? We're, we're not going to allow that. We don't like that you're this close. We're going get to you, get you back to where you belong. And just when things start looking up, it goes in the net. Emery Harrison on the serve. You need to start talking about her a little more. Last time you did, she decided to heat up a little bit. Yeah, Got a few know, kills on you. She hasn't I had might, any for I a while. I need to have a chat here with her, huh? They send that one out. 14-10 now for the Thunder. Taylor Graff going back into the game. And Graf's been playing pretty well too. Let's see if with her up front there, if she can do something to help them. And there it is on cue, Liko Falau. Yeah, I feel like she's been pretty solid out there tonight, Falau. Falau Shimada right next to each other. I think that's a pretty good combo right there for the it Red. Is. It's been really good so far, and especially in the first part of the set in the last part of the second. Oh, and just, uh, that just, just looked a little lazy. Yeah, yeah that that's, was. it wasn't a great pass. And then you got to just get your feet to the ball yeah. and just put that over. As a libero, you're not trying to jump and swing. You <laughs> yeah. just need to get the ball over. Yep. That's OK. She's been playing really well. She tonight, has so. been. She's been, again, that's one of those where you you give her the one mistake yep. for how well she's done leading up to that point. As now Wilson heads to the bench. Uh, I still think this game is just right in the grass here. Like I think if Cedar can make a little run, they might pull out this set and we'll go to four. Larkin gets but it. As long as you have Larkin, <laughs> and she just finds the right spot. She's been doing she that pretty well tonight. I would, with Cedar, I'd like to see Shimada get a little bit more involved. She did so good in that second set, uh, both up front blocking and hitting. Yep. And here she goes. You asked for it. Right Kate. on cue. I like to see it. Here she goes again. Yeah, not, not a Takes great. Takes a light touch. Yeah, not a great hook up there, but. going to be Harrison. Very scrappy here. And it goes Just in, in the, the net. net. Just in the net. Not enough there from Graf. 
Yeah, and Graf is just kind of hitting almost. She's got five kills, six errors, so she's just kind of almost at zero there tonight. Ooh, that's a good serve that's, there. So, yeah, that almost hit the basketball that's almost stand. Hit, I know it? you can't see that on the camera, but she uh, almost got it there. there. And she there's is. Shimada. You asked for it, and she that's says, "Here I you are, Kate." So I, I did ask Mark if he knew who got the yellow card, and he said he thinks it's one of the assistant coaches from Desert Hills. So oh, I'm not sure. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened, but that's a great pass. Going to Larkin. And, oh, 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 great dig and save. And they saved it. Nia Barnes on the dig. Oh, here it comes again, though. Yep. <laughs> oh, she, she can't get you it can't twice. You can't do it twice. You, can't you do know it she's going to get it. You can't give the ball to her twice. Yeah, that was phenomenal. She's like, okay, you dug me once. Not going to happen again. Kaboom right there. Boom. Yep. She's just too good. Oh, oh I love Bird. that. There's and Bird. And it was in. Yep, that's Bird. I tell you, she is aggressive. She's probably the most aggressive setter in the region. I like that. I wonder if, again, we're catching the tail end of the replay there, but I wonder if we have enough here to. Uh, here she is. Just that tiny little set over the top. Gets Ooh, it for the and kill. An ace. And, it, and there it an is. Ace. And, an ace. and we're back into it. It's 17-16. Yep. Here we go. Yep. We got an ace from Falau. She's, she's playing well tonight, too. 17-16. Oh, I love this. Oh, and, and they just, just out. out the back. I thought for a second that was going to drop in. I thought it might, too. Just not enough topspin. So she comes out, and Shaylee Johnson comes in. She's one of their defensive specialists for Cedar. There's Bird again. And oh, they call, oh, it they double. call it a double. Wow. I don't, I mean, it probably was a double, but. What do you think here? Let's see if we can catch it on the replay. Especially with the timeout taken, we have some time to look at it. Here she goes. Ooh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't that's know. tough. That's, that's tough. a tough that's call. That's a tough call, but it probably is the right call there. Yeah. 19-16. We'll step aside and be right back after this. Adams Wealth Advisory is a financial planning firm. It's combined with an investment firm to provide the best possible outcomes for our clients. I always believe if you're intentional with your financial plan, things are going to work out really well for you. Visit AdamsWealthAdvisors.com or call 752-1702 to schedule a time with an advisor today. Fabulous Freddy's is the local's choice for a full-service car wash. It's fast. Have your car washed in just 20 minutes or less. Fabulous Freddy's always keeps it clean inside and out with two Southern Utah locations as well as in Vegas, Lehigh, and Sandy. Nineteen sixteen. The Thunder lead here in the third set on the Fan Sports Network. It's Caden Fornmaster with you and Brett Rao on your broadcast tonight. Thank you for joining us through this one. Desert Hills takes the first two sets. And are currently leading as Cedar looking to rally back here. So in the timeout, you know Coach Allen's in the huddle saying, all right, guys, it's, we're not going to another set here. we got to finish this off. We're up three points. We're in towards the end. On the other side, Coach Angelin's saying, no, no, no. Like, we're not done yet. Let's take this one to another set. And they're both kind of angling there as a coach. Like, we got to get our teams amped up. Cedar came out and get that point. We're two points away from being a tied ball game. You know that they want to win this one, but Desert Hills is tough. And, and right Larkin. There. You know, she's been on fire in this set. She really has. She came to play in this set, which, which you love to see. She's their leading uh, kills, kills, and she really is coming on this third set and keeping the team just going. But now they send her to the bench. Oh, and, and an they ace. get it done with the ace. All right, a four-point lead right here for Desert Hills. This is where they kind of shine at each set towards the end. Cedar. Dig by Wilson. On oh, the touch, it's going to go to Cedar. 
It's just out of bounds. I like the idea there by, by Trinity Pulamai to try to just ease it over. Don't go for the kill. She's been going for the kill all night, the hard kill. So just go with the easy one. Yep, she did that on the last one and was able to get it, but this one was just a little out. It's a great dig right Good there. Good dig. Harrison sends it. Oh, that's it's out. Go out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was getting that. The communication <laughs> by the team was fantastic there. Richens was, well, she was ready for it. She was ready to get it. And she had her teammates uh, everybody was there. yelling out, out, and she she pulled back just in time. Yep. All right, they're down to three points there. Four point lead. Let's see if Cedar can make a little run here. That's what oh, you need there right it there. Is. It's a great set. You know Harrison's going to come and just attack that. Now, Harrison is leading the Reds. Let's see if we can see this here. Harrison's leading the Reds in, in tonight in aces. Let's see if she can rattle off a couple here, keep them in the game. That was beautiful. Boom. Yep, you love that one right there. It's a good, it's a good serve. It's a good really block. good serve there. Go to Harrison here again, huh? And again, good dig. Oh, man. Oh, scrappy, scrappy volleyball. Allen. And oh. I think that was going out. And in the net. In the net. Cedar's in the net. Cedar's in the net. That was a great oh, rally, that, though. That was probably one of the, the longest rallies of the night right there. Catch some of that replay here and again. Yeah, just a little hand on just the, net. Hand in the net. Just a little there. hand in the net. That's all it took. Going up. Harrison. What, Harrison. what a play right there. Of course they're gonna go to Harrison here when they need when they need a point. Even if she's on the back row, she does a great job. She does. Here she is on the replay. From the back row, Wilson can't dig it out. So Hannah Hunt came in here to serve. It's a good, oh, that's a really good serve. Oh, set. and there's Hallie Heath. Really good set to Heath right there. Desert Hills is looking for just one more. Yeah, they got match point right here. They bring in, they send out Wilson, bring in Larkin. They want to go big up front. Heath is on the serve as well, so look out for her with some size. And in the oh, net. In the net. They bring Wilson back off the bench. Cedar down three. Can they make a little comeback here? It seems like they have Emery on the back row every time they get to this point in the game. It seems like it. Which is interesting. You think she would be better up front, but they're they're putting her in the back. Well, just with the way the rotation. And good goes. touch. With the way the rotation goes, she just ends up in the yeah, back row right is. there. So it looks like she has one more rotation before she comes back to the front row. Okay, there's a timeout by Desert Hills right there. And that was, a, again, just a good touch from Cedar. Tightens things up a little bit more. 22, 24. We'll step aside. We'll be back right after this. Need an appliance or two? AWP's got you. Check out the remodeled expansive showroom highlighting the cafe series with colors like matte black, matte white, and modern glass. Make your kitchen stand out. Come see the local boys at AWP across the freeway from the Bloomington Walmart. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home, because home is who we are. 24-22. It's coming down to it here in the third set on the Fan Sports Network. You know... Caden, if the game ends right here, it's been awesome. It's it been has a great been awesome. game. I personally wanted to go another second and <laughs> have so much one fun. More. Yeah. But it's been good. I mean, both these teams are fighting super hard tonight. And here we go. Oh, good kill. What a kill. Taylor Graff. Taylor Graff puts the game away right there. The fans, they're having the time of their life. You know what? That was a, a really good way to end the game with the monster kill from Taylor Graff. Absolutely. Desert Hills Thunder, they celebrate the win. And with that, they also 
celebrate the region title. They do. Yep, that, that was for the region title right there. You know, that, this game coming in, it was winner take all. Cedar fought really hard, but Desert Hills, whether it's the home court, whether it's senior night, whether it's Mark Musgrave getting everyone going, <laughs> they were able to do it. It was a little bit of everything. Do you have a player of the game tonight? You know, I think I'm, I have to go with uh, Trinity Pelemai. She really came to play. I think she ended up with 10 or 11 kills overall. She just really was solid throughout the game. You know, Larkin came in that last set, but I think I still give the edge to Pelemai. I like that. I like that. That's your Hershey's Hardware a player of the game. And again, it was a fun one. The score being, you know, fi final score, 3 nothing. It didn't feel like a 3 nothing kind no, of ball game. No, it here. really didn't. I think, <laughs> you know, having Cedar up the first two sets from the majority of the set, yeah, that kind of felt like Cedar maybe had, had taken a set or two. Uh, but, you know, they were uh, Desert Hills was able to come back at the end of both of those and win them. So Absolutely. really, really good volleyball all the way through. I would have liked to have seen five, but, you know, we ended up with three really good sets. Yeah, it was fantastic. Desert Hills, they get the win. They get the region championship, and that means state playoffs coming up soon. Yeah, brackets will be revealed tomorrow morning. I think like 10 o'clock in the morning they get yep. revealed, and we'll see where both of these teams are headed. So as I mentioned before, they will both be have a bye, so they right. won't play this weekend. Next week they'll go up to UVU, and they'll be uh, one of the top eight seeds in the, in, in the state. And with that, Desert Hills win. Cedar, again, a great game. We'll see both of these teams in the playoffs. You'll be able to stream these games live with KSL. They will have coverage of those games for you at kslsports.com. And until then, thank you for joining us. We will have some Region 9 football, some state playoff football for you coming up this Friday here on the Fan Sports Network. So make sure to tune in for that. Game start at 5 o'clock with Dixie and Logan. We'll also be broadcasting Desert Hills Hurricane and Cedar Pineview here on the Fan Sports Network. So make sure to look out for those games at 5 o'clock for the Dixie game and 6 o'clock for the others. With uh, everyone here, we want to thank you for the broadcast. With, for Brett Rao, and uh, we have Gage on the camera and myself. Have a good night, everybody. Brian over there doing stats. We want to thank Brian as well taking care of some stats, and Devin Dixon helping out getting a little video pregame for us as well. So have a good night, everybody. Thank you for stopping in, and we will...